Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, the podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece, my pronouns are they, them. Um, I don't know what day it is. Uh, it's Wednesday, the 25th of September, 2024. And Pumpkin is down here really wanting to be part of the show. Um, but Gothic Romance Box from the Black Needle Society just showed up. Hi, baby. Okay, back off. Back off, back off. Mama's gonna talk to the camera. Um, it just showed up. It wasn't supposed to be here tomorrow, so I am over the moon excited. Um, I just got out of my weekly counseling session. I have not had dinner yet, but I knew I needed to get into this box. So Gothic Romance is the, um, the thing. We have the spoiler card. We have um, a note from um, Katie and Laura. Uh, the January box is going to be Purple Madness, which is that's Laura's favorite color. We have some book suggestions and we have our book club uh, is meeting um, not this weekend, next weekend on the 5th of October, which is the day after my birthday, just saying, um, to discuss Lee Bardugo's The Familiar, which I'm reading right now. Um, so I have not looked in the box. All I did was open it and get this out so I could take a photo so I could make my image. And sorry, y'all. I didn't even get out my like tripod thing. I'm like, we're just going to do this. And it's going to be great. Okay, let me get this to where I can be situated and hopefully not knock the camera off. Okay, let's open this box first. We got a box. It's a mug. Ooh, this is really cool. Okay, this is the Penny Dreadful Mug by artwork by Bookmark Tattoos, which is Katie from Katie and Laura Black Needle Society. Do you believe in curses, demons, and monsters? Katie was inspired by the TV show Penny Dreadful to create this mug design, particularly by the character of Vanessa Ives and the iconog iconog ugh, iconography, iconography, of scorpions surrounding her. So it says, I believe in curses, I believe in demons, I believe in monsters. Now I've never seen Penny Dreadful. Um, so that might need to be something. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking off. I apologize. Okay, let's, and we're just gonna grab and get see what comes out. We're in a little bag here. Ooh. This is the Gothic Bouquet Cameo Charm, curated by the Black Needle Society. Flowers may die, but this gorgeous cameo charm will last for many years to come. You can string it on a chain or ribbon for a necklace, attach magnets to make a needle minder, or attach beads and jewelry claw to make a scissor fot. I think this would be a really good um, needle minder this way. So I need, I, I don't know if I have any magnets or not. We shall see. All right, we're reaching into the box. We're coming out with floss. Um, floss. This is the Gothic Romance Thread Trio, dyed by Be Stitch Me. To be a Gothic heroine, you must have the finest silks. That's why we asked Brandy to create this gorgeous silk palette for our September Society Stitchers. So first up, we have Mystery. So these are all 10 yards of a silk. So this is purples. We have sanguine which is these reds oops this way this way this way and then we have oh gothic romance which is this like black and purple and red and i think i even see some green or gray in there those three together look at that yes. that's beautiful beautiful there's nothing in this box for you honey i'm so sorry this is a mama box, not a pumpkin box. This is mama. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let me find this here. I'm opening them. The Gothic Heroin Fingerless Gloves, curated by the Black Needle Society. To be a proper Victorian Gothic hero, heroine, sorry, heroine, you must have a pair of gloves According to Victorian etiquette rules, women were never to go out without gloves. Slip these on to add a dash of drama. 
to your stitching attire. They're also perfect to slap in the face of a dastardly villain. Aren't they beautiful? Pumpkin's like, what are you putting on, Mama? What is this? No, this is not to eat. No, clothes are not for eating. Okay, next thing. Ooh, pretty. Powerful notebook. Artwork by Maria Zabanki Zabaikina. I probably butchered that. I apologize. This notebook features one of the most iconic quotes from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. We love this empowering sentiment, even if it was Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's monster who says it in the original text. Fun fact, Mary Shelley was only 19 when Frankenstein was published. So it says, beware, beware for I am fearless and therefore powerful. Oh, I love this. Oh, and the heart is on the top of every page. That is stunning. So pretty. Okay. doesn't feel like there's anything in this. There wasn't because did it fall out or did I not get it? There it is. So here's what happened y'all. Um, the pouch for the needle minder split. And I was really worried that I didn't get one, but I did. And also, you don't have to tear these. They pop open like this. But that's the first time I had to tear at the bottom. It's all right. We got it. We're okay. So here is this month's needle minder. Try to make sure I'm holding it the right direction. Okay, here we go. Now I have to find it. Wuthering Heights Needle Minder, artwork by the Black Needle Society. Don't let your needle wander the English moors aimlessly like Kathy. Use this needle minder featuring a quote from Wuthering Heights to keep it close by. So it says, whatever our souls are made of, I'm sorry, y'all, I can't read. I, my eyesight is not great. Made of. Something more are the same. Whatever our souls are made of is an I apologize. I can't read y'all. I actually, I could read. I just can't see. And I had to turn my lamp off or y'all would be getting blinded right now. It's beautiful. I just, I need to like magnify it or something so I could read it. Beautiful artwork, beautiful artwork. That's all on me and my bad eyesight. Uh, not on Black Needle Society at all. Okay. We have a vinyl sticker, Crimson Peak vinyl sticker. Artwork by the Black Needle Society, Beware Crimson Peak. Though its owner may be devastatingly handsome and charming, we hear it's not a nice place for trusting heiresses, but you can still appreciate his pretty words on this vinyl sticker inspired by the original film by Guillermo del Toro. I feel as if a link exists between your heart and mine. Very pretty. Okay, I think I have just two things left. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's do the fabric first. This is the curtain call fabric dyed by Lapin Loops. I don't know if I've ever had fabric by them before. Um, talk about drama. Megan certainly captured the dramatic flair of the Phantom with this The Phantom of the Opera inspired fabric. We love how she was inspired by the lush red of the theater curtains to create this color, especially for our September stitchers. Woo, that is beautiful. Isn't that pretty, Pumpkin? And I got the 16 count Ada. It's very nice. Does it smell good? 
It does smell okay. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, if you could just see what's going on down here below me where she's trying to see everything. Okay. Finally, finally, we have our pattern. This is Udolfo at Midnight Cross Stitch Pattern designed by Summerhouse Stitchworks. It's time to spend some time in an Italian castle, but we promise we won't lock you away and terrorize you like Emily while you work on this gorgeous custom pattern from Beth Seal. We recommend a full immersion experience while stitching this piece. Pull out an audiobook of The Mysteries of Udolfo by Anne Radcliffe or Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen and maybe a cup of something hot to calm your nerves. So here's the pattern. So it says, Udolfo, Emily gazed with melancholy awe upon the moldering walls of the gloomy castle. So this is 170 by 121. I'm dropping things on the floor. 170 by 121. There is some back stitch, French knots, and satin stitch. And it's charted in DMC. Very cool. So what did we have? We have these gloves. We have the pattern. We have the fabric. We have the sticker. We have the notebook. We have the needle minder that I am going to like take a picture of a blow up so I can read it. The uh, floss, the cameo charm, which I put back in its little thing so I wouldn't break it. And the mug, which I also put back in its box so I would not drop it. Um, so this was just a lovely, lovely box. Um, I was very excited to see how, what they were gonna do with it. And they, as always, knocked it right out of the park. Um, so I am a rep for the Button Needle Society, which means I get these every other month boxes to share with y'all. And when there are extras, which there's usually at least one of every one product of every box that there's extra of, lots of times that there's something for all the items. So I just, you know, it just, you never know. It depends on like how many items are maybe in like a lot that they have to buy. Does that make sense? Um, anyway, if you go to their website, theblackneedlesociety.com and go into the vault, that's where all the extras live. And you can use the coupon code JAVAPURL5, J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L, and the number five, and that will save you 5% off everything in the vault, and you can use it more than once. So, um, I'm going to get this edited and up for y'all right quick. I need to eat some dinner. My stomach is like rumbly, rumbly. And, um probably going to call Dammy and be like, do you want to see what's in the Gothic romance box? So, um, I think that, I think I might record my October episode this weekend, even though it's not October quite yet. My birthday, like I said, is next week, but there's also the anniversary of a really traumatic thing that happened uh, a year ago. I'm not going to go into it here. Um, if you want to know and you don't know, ask me. I, I, I'm fine to tell you. But I just, as I was talking about with my therapist tonight, you know, even though you know that you are okay and safe, sometimes your body goes, I'm not really aware of that. And trauma can be a vicious, vicious bad word that I'm not going to say because then I have to mark this as I'm swearing and I'm not going to do that. So, um, I think I might just go ahead and record this weekend and that way next weekend, I don't have to worry about it and not know what emotional state I might be in. There you go. All right. Well, I will see y'all this weekend until then happy crafting. Go get your stuff from the vault and I'll see you soon. Bye.